Hello guys, welcome to the first video on WPF tutorial for beginners using Visual Basic. WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation, which is uh, relatively new uh, and which can be seen as an alternative for uh, Windows Form applications. Using WPF, we can uh, create really interactive uh, UIs or user interfaces. So let's see how we can create our first uh, WPF project using Visual Basic. So just open your uh, Visual Studio. I downloaded Visual Studio Express from their website. And then just go to File and go to New Project. And in here you will be able to see different categories. You can make WPF uh, project in C sharp or in Visual Basic and this time we are going to use Visual Basic. So select this category Visual Basic and choose WPF application from here. You can give any name to your application. Uh, by default uh, WPF application is the name of your project but you can change this uh, name also. And the project location is the default location selected by uh, the Visual Studio for you. And this also you can change. I will leave everything as default and I will click OK. Just make sure that this WPF application is uh, highlighted when you select or create your program. Click OK. And it will create your first WPF application. So now our project is open and we can see in our solution explorer our project uh, name is there and in here some of the default files are already created by windows uh, or visual studio for us and you can see the there is a file called main window.saml xaml stands for Ex extensible application markup language which is a kind of markup language uh, which we can use to create our UIs. And in here you can see this uh, XAML structure. So I will just drag this output, output a little bit down and this little bit up. And this is your XAML file. So just whenever you select the XAML file, here is the you know XAML file behind this UI. Okay, so you can see there is a windows tag here and inside there is a grid. Okay, so this is our main window which is indicated by these tags opening and closing tags. And in here inside this opening and closing tag there is a grid which is this one. Okay, and this is really useful uh, when you uh, want to you know have full control over user interface and you will be able to see what's happening behind your uh, interface. So for example, I want to change the title of uh, this uh, this uh, UI from main window to my first GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface. And in here you will be able to see in the title your title of the, your UI is changed now. Okay. So in this way you can use this uh, XAML file to uh, add the property of your UI or either w the alternative option is you can select uh, your uh, component or tag from here and change the properties from here and they will be implemented in here also. Okay. So there are two ways of uh, doing this. Now you will be able to see a toolbox on the left and uh, of your uh, editor here. You can see toolbox whenever you click this and you can pin uh, this toolbox from here. So there is a small pin symbol here and uh, which you can just click and your toolbox will be, you know, permanently pinned here. And in here you will be able to see common WPF controls 
which you can use or which you can drag and drop into your uh, uh, graphical user interface and uh, use them to create interactive UIs. So for example, I will drag and drop a button here. And what I want to do with the button is I can resize it. So whatever uh, I, you know, I have dragged and dropped this button into my uh, main window and you will be able to see in this XAML file, this button tag is added with its properties, right? So you can go to the properties here and uh, you can change the properties of this button. For example, you can change the text uh, size or uh, some other properties like, for example, I want to change the content or the display text on this button. For example, click me and press enter and th this these changes will be uh, you know immediately reflected in your XAML file so now you can see the button is showing click me and in here in the button content in the XAML file you will be able to see this text here okay or you if you want to change your uh, property of these this button from your XAML file itself you can change it from here itself for example click button and this will be changed in your uh, ui and here also so it's on you from where you want to change the properties you can go change the properties from this property tab or dry directly from the xaml file or uh, you know from uh, this ui also okay now for example i want to add some functionality to this button i can just double click this button and we will reach to the main window.saml.vb file which is a visual basic file which is responsible for the real uh, you know code behind for this button action perform and inside in between this uh, my click button action perform i can uh, write some code okay so inside this method private sub my click which is the name of my button i can just print message box and i can show some message inside this uh, message message box so inside this mes message box i can just write for example hello world okay and then i can uh, run this button uh, run this uh, program so just click this start button from here and our program will be compiled and run. So now our program is running. You can see our title on this uh, interface, my first GUI, which we have uh, changed. And when I click this uh, click button, I can see this message, hello world, which we have just uh, written the code of, okay? So that's it for this video. In the further videos, we will see uh, more uh, how we can uh, use this GUI to make some, uh, you know, really interesting uh, projects. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe.